Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how to create a timeline. So I'm on the new area, and there's timeline, so I'm just going to click on that and create a blank timeline. So what you've got down in the stencil area is different types of timelines. So there's a block one, I'll just cancel the times off for a minute. There's a cylindrical one. And I'll cancel the time off that as well. So you can have different styles and you can have a line one as well. Which I don't like that one at all. Not great to see. Now, if I just delete all of these and bring the one on that I want to use for this example, if I bring on the cylindrical one, uh, those dates will be okay. And you can change the time format if you want from this option, but that'll do. Okay. Now I'm going to right click on this because what I want is. Uh, this to be at the end, an arrowhead, so you get a little arrowhead there, and then you've got lots of tools that you can bring on there, different milestone markers, today marker, I'll bring that on, and then you've got a block interval, you've got a milestone, you've got diamond, square, triangles, all these different things, you've got um, expended time, or expanded time, so if I bring that on, Watch what happens here. So that's coming shorter than the the top time line. So if I'll bring it even shorter still. So if I come back into say the first of October, okay, you can see how that sits like that. It's sitting inside of that one. And then if I bring in some markers, so let's go for a block interval onto this one, and I'll call this induction. induction process and you can change all this if you want but I'll just leave that as it is and you can see how that's sort of married up like so now if I bring a different timeline on so I'll bring another cylindrical one on what you can do is I'll leave it at the same time scale I'll bring on what's called a synchronized interval and then you'll drop that on there and it gives you the option to synchronize it with other intervals that you already have on there so I'll click OK to that and you've got this formatted as a bracket but I can change that um, to be block cylindrical block which is what I want it to be it's like so change the color of it change the color of that to whatever you want really within reason just so it stands out a bit better and then you've got different options elapsed time so if I put elapsed time onto the top one you can see that's how far we've gone and that's not great to see so let's just fill that red so it stands out a bit you can see that red now and then you basically bring on these brackets or blocks like so I'll just give this a name um, call it planning Planning. I'll leave the dates like that and if I want to move that down I can pull this down and that will go the other way probably best the way it is if I want to change it I'll change it like this I can uh, but I'll leave that there I've got a pin milestone let's put that onto there and let's call that um, stage one just making these things up at the minute you've got that as stage one now when you right click on any of these shapes you can set different styles synchronized percentage complete if that's relevant and position above date below date and wrap text and so on and so on you've got all those features there now if you want the timeline to go the other way if I go to a second page get myself a second page and do a another timeline I'll just leave it at the default settings. If I do Control R, that will put the timeline vertically. And then when you add extra elements, so if I do uh, another timeline, so expanded timeline, so if I add that, OK to that, that again is going to change to be vertical. And you can still do the same sort of things as you did before with the arrow ends arrowheads should I say 
at the end that's pointing down. I don't like that. I'd rather that be pointing up. And all the things that you add on there, if I just click OK to that, will be the same. Whatever you put them, that's what it's going to put. You can still um, add shape data to these if you want. You go down to data, shape data, the window's already open there, I just closed it, so let's bring that back up, shape data. And you can see there, this is the preset stuff, and you can obviously add, as I've shown in different videos, extra categories if you want, to keep information about this timeline in there. But that's all I want to talk about for this little video, so hopefully you found that useful, and thank you for your time, I'll see you on the next one.